Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today, and today I'm back with another Mad Mobile video on my channel. Now, today's video, guys, we're talking all about 4th of July fireworks, what might be in the fireworks, some predictions on the fireworks, and I'm going to be showing you some exclusive stuff that you guys probably haven't seen before that'll help us make predictions on what are going to be in these fireworks. You definitely want to stick around for this. Um, and yeah, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on my post notifications so you never miss any of my videos. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Jack is my name. Be the first person to comment on a video for the next video's post notification shout out. There's a stat on YouTube that says about 65% of you guys that are watching my channel are not subscribed. So if that's you, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my content. So, 4th of July fireworks. That's what you guys are here for. That's what we're going to be talking about in this video. 4th of July fireworks are just like Easter eggs. If you play during Easter, um, we do have... Um, the fireworks that are literally pretty much relatively the exact same. We have three different levels and then four different of each level. There's small, big, and mega fireworks. Uh, one, two, three, and four. In Easter, I think we originally thought, you know, like one, two, three, and four. I think originally we had said like, hey, maybe that's like, you know, one, two, three, and four that increases, but I don't think that's exactly the case. And I'm pretty sure they said that uh, again this time that it doesn't, it doesn't necessarily mean like a higher number doesn't ne necessarily mean a better firework. Here's where I'm at really quick with the fireworks. One mega one, uh, two mega fours. I'm working on getting in every single firework but yeah so um we're talking about what are going to be in these fireworks and i think it's going to be very very similar to what we saw for easter now nick messina did say that he doesn't think that the rewards are going to be that good like he said they were absolutely bananas the easter rewards in those easter eggs and they were easter eggs were incredible they were so fun to open um he doesn't think they're going to be that good but then again that was that was back like three months ago this is uh, three, four months ago, even. This is now, um, now end game. So stuff has different value now. So we could potentially be seeing a lot of the exact same stuff we're seeing in those Easter eggs in these fireworks now. So going back to some of the Easter eggs, what we see in a lot of these Easter eggs are, uh, they were, we saw Easter badges. We saw a lot of Road to the Draft players, which are, you know, right now equivalent to Madden Futures players. And then we ended up seeing, you know, some limited stuff, some very high overall things. So my thoughts is uh, in these, you know, in these 4th of July fires, we're going to see a lot of Madden Futures players. We're going to see a lot of 4th of July collectibles. Um, that are gonna help you out with the promo and hopefully I'm fully expecting us to get a master on the 4th of July um, A brand new player. That's usually my prediction is we're gonna have a 105 4th of July master that's gonna take the same requirements as a 100 15 shields 196 plus player 30 uh, red or whatever specific badges and one futures player That's my prediction not a hundred percent, but that's what I'm thinking and yeah So we're gonna get a lot of that stuff in the fireworks and I'm you know, I'm pretty sure sure about that now there is this website i did this exact video for easter and i found more stuff on fourth of july there's the website called root tools um i know slay knows a bunch of people over you know with them who runs it and everything i don't know exactly who runs it but it's, it's kind of a man mobile database site you can check price floors you can check the entire player database you can check events times and everything you can look at like collectible databases but if you have a 15 dollars subscription which i do you do get ex uh, access to the man mobile encyclopedia which has so much stuff it literally has just like I can't even explain everything that it has it literally has everything and the biggest thing is it has pack contents and odds when they are known so whatever is in the Madden mobile files they update this kind of Google sheet if you have access to it with uh, with a lot of pack odds and things like that and I looked through and saw that they do have fireworks now, the thing is with these fireworks is it does not tell you exactly what is in them. It gives you specific, like, numbers, and I, I'll show you guys what this means here in a second. I did find something on the free part of it, though, the collectible, collectible database. I found two things that might interest all of us. Uh, one thing that I found is under, with all the, like, the firework collectibles, or the 4th of July collectibles, shields, trophy, badges, fireworks... We have blue badges, we have red badges, we have stripes badges, and we have star badges. But I found an any badge that's called a 4th of July badge. And the description of it says any 4th of July badge. That is not a thing in the game yet. If you look, we have, you know, a trophy is there. 
we do not have something just called a 4th of July badge yet. My thought is we are going to get in the pr in a, in the 4th of July fireworks rather than getting, you know, like, I'll get a couple red here and I'll get some stripes. I'm thinking that in these, you know, in these fireworks, we're going to be getting collectibles that you can use as in place of any 4th of July badge. So that's what I'm thinking with that, so that's pretty cool. And the second thing I'm seeing, it's kind of, you know, it doesn't mean a lot, but we have vouchers for coins. We have a 1,400 coin voucher and a 3,000 coin voucher. We saw this exact same thing for Easter as well. Um, those will just be small coin amounts that we're going to see in some different fireworks, and those will be in there as well. So let's get to the fun stuff, and let's get to more of the quote-unquote file stuff. So last time I did this, I made it super confusing. Just put up a screen. You guys didn't know exactly what you are looking at. I made it a lot easier for you guys to look at now with these kind of pictures and stuff so let's start with the small fireworks now like i said this is in root tools on the encyclopedia um basically um they have a lot more stuff that kind of doesn't mean anything but i will break down kind of exactly what everything means they have pretty much every single pack in the game every win pack every store pack all of these things it gives odds when they know them so here's the id you don't have to worry about the small the pack name so you know when you go into the game you actually click you know you're opening the pack in the top left it's going to say small firework last time for easter it showed you exactly which egg you're opening this time we just know whether it's small big or the mega fireworks pick number when you see i have i put lines separating the different fireworks whatever number it goes up to means that is the most amount of slots this will take up num cards means the number of cards in that specific slot and chance means the percent chance of you getting that in that specific firework um and that's a percent so 100 means 100 percent 0.5 means 0.5 percent so that's a one in like 200 chance but yeah so um so the first thing let's kind of go through it really quick the first slot is four cards so i'm guessing that's four badges or something like that 100 percent chance small firework the second item We'll have only one card, so that's probably a player, 100%. Small firework, the 0.5%, uh, so that's 1 in 200. It's a one item, that's probably, it might be a 4th of July, like 96. We don't know exactly, but it has a very low chance. The second small firework is has a one, it's one card and it has a 100% chance. So that could be maybe an 85 plus uh, futures player. That's going to be my full prediction on that. We saw something exactly like that with the uh, with the Easter egg. So that's there. Um, small firework. The next one has possibly two, uh, well actually two items. Maybe one has five badges and then they're both guaranteed 100%. I got another item. So that's that. And the final small firework has possibly three items. All have one card in each slot, and one slot has a 9.5% chance. Maybe that's, you know, a, a Diamond Futures player. Maybe that's a more 4th of July. Maybe they're going to have specific 4th of July extra content in them as well. So I hope this makes sense. Um, if, you, if it doesn't, let me know in the comments below. Maybe that means, you know, maybe Small Firework 1, 2, 3, and 4. Maybe that goes in order. We don't know. It did for Easter, but it also had the numbers for the specific ones. Let's move on to the big fireworks. Um, we see a lot of the same stuff, but, uh, you know, potential for more items. We see four items potentially for the first one with uh, two that have one card, one that has three, and one that has five. The three and the five are guaranteed. And then we have a 1.01% chance for one of them and a 5.4% chance for the other. The next thing is another in the big firework is a 100% chance. I'm guessing that one might be, you know, with just a diamond futures player, 100% chance every single time. Um, that maybe, you know, never know. Um, the next one, uh, you are guaranteed four different things, 25, I'm guessing that's 25 badges, 4th of July badges, and maybe, uh, that we saw earlier might be potentially used in any set, um, four items, the other things only have one in each slot, and then the final one is the exact same thing, you're guaranteed all four items, and one of them has one, well, two of them have one item, and two of them have two items in that slot, so there you go for that, and the final one is the Mega Firework, this is what a lot of people want to know, um, about, so the first one is potential of five things but you see some stuff has very low chances of you actually getting them uh we see a 0.5 percent chance on two of them that have one item not exactly sure maybe we're gonna get some specific fourth of july cool content towards the end somewhat like crystal legends we see an easter maybe fourth of july legends or something like that that would be cool um very low chance of getting those that so we have something that also has a 70 percent chance it's a one item and we see something that has you get four of for 100 
uh, that has a 100% chance, so that's pretty cool. Another thing, we get one item that's 100%. What could that be? Could that be like one 4th of July 96 to 98? Because that literally has the exact value of a Mega Firework. The exact same set is the 96 to 98, so potentially we could see something like that. Um, we see one that has two items and then one item um, that is 100% chance you're going to get every single time with uh, the Firework. Maybe that's Firework 3, maybe that's another Firework, not sure. And the final firework has a potential of four items all are one card we have a one percent chance for one of them 100 percent chance for two different ones and a 5.9 percent chance for the final one that is what i see in the files make what you want of it not exactly sure we don't have exact things that we're gonna get in but we do have we saw the easter eggs you know a couple months ago and we now have these things that can help us make some predictions on what might be in these fourth of july fireworks not 100 percent sure go at your own risk but i'm super excited to open up these fireworks for you guys that is just about it for this video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'm goose tv and i'm out i'll see you guys later.